So I'd say some more about the base of the gazebo. So probably the most important aspect is the foundation of most buildings, if not all buildings. Um, anything that you really want to last. So in this case, I didn't have a flat area to build the gazebo in that I wanted to utilize. And we really liked this spot. It wasn't too far, far from the house. It was near our sand court area, but it was a hillside. But so that really actually made an opportunity to build a massive foundation or base. And what I did was I started using field stone or big stone that I could get. And I started piling a perimeter. Now on the downside, you can see I had to go quite high. So we're over three feet. We're really more like four feet high on this side. So these stones have to be massive. They need to be able to withstand sliding. They need to, they need to be very stable because if these aren't stable, then nothing is going to be stable in your project here. So in this case, I was fortunate at the time they were taking out a lot of bluestone sidewalks and I was able to get a bunch. They were broken up in many cases. So I had to, um, and actually that was good because otherwise I couldn't have moved all this much. So this is um, probably, I think I started a year before the gazebo building the base and it took me pretty much a full year to get this foundation in. So after I got the perimeter, I then brought in cobblestone. And this is all on my little Toyota truck. And I filled in the inside. And then after the cobblestone, the cobblestone were six to eight to 10 inches. Then I started bringing in crushed stone and I just kept dumping crushed stone in until it quit sinking down. And then after the crushed stone, we then built, we then, I went and purchased bricks and they I, were handmade bricks. So it was really cool. I can't get them anymore around here. And did a area on the inside that would be the inside part. And then on the perimeter, I put up more stone to hold up the treated two by sixes. And then over the years, I've had to, some of the crushed stone, you can see like right here, it sinks in a little bit. So you just go like this and fill the hole in. And if I have to, I have to dump more on. But I really have, I even went and got a load some redstone to add into the coloring. So I would say this this wall, as far as I can tell, has not moved. I um, don't have proof of it not moving, but it looks to me the same as when I built it. And these are big stone. These are, in many cases, two feet by two feet, roughly, and then other ones in between. So this is a massive amount of stone. The good thing is it gives a lot of drainage. So we should not get water sitting up here. Now on the upper side, I'll go around to the upper side. I did make a mistake, point out the good things. I might as well point out the things that I did wrong. One of which was I put the whole thing right next to this big tree. It was a beautiful tree, it was a white ash, but with the disease going around, all of our white ash are dying. And once I realized it, I didn't even realize it was a white ash at the time I was building. Then when I did realize it, I realized that it was probably a big mistake. But luckily my brother helped me take this down we were able to hook on some trees over there and actually pull it while he was cutting. And the, it did roll off and it did roll towards the gazebo. And when it stopped, it was within one inch of hitting the gazebo, which I was happy because if it hit the gazebo, it would have most likely moved it. 
and it might have changed the adjustment on the windows and everything. So the tree's down and we're turning it into firewood. The other thing I wanted to point out was on this upper side, I really should have made this a trench. So what I'm doing is I'm gradually taking this down and making more of a trench going that way. So any water in here, even though this is a lot of stone and it should not sit here in the winter time and then with leaves, it could happen. So it's, I'm going to make it a little bit more of a dip there going out that way. Okay, so foundation, very, very important. And I love stone for my foundations.